Hey guys, Kat here again. Today we're gonna check out Alpha Protocol, the new spy thriller and role-playing action game from Obsidian. More than anything else, this game is about realism. It begins with Michael Thornton, a young rookie secret agent waking up drugged in a spy training building. We follow him through his training, learning the basics of the dialogue system as well as the shooting and gadget controls. The early part of the game is reminiscent of Mass Effect, except with spies this time. We see this in the dialogues especially, because you have the options of expressing yourself depending on your mood. Be it professional, suave, practical, angry, calm, whatever. The cool part about this is your answer will right. really affect your relationship no with the characters person. and the outcome no. of the story. However, it's frustrating person. that your decisions are rushed. There's no right Sometimes. or wrong answer. The only the thing you learn is that you should trust, trust nobody. Other. You spared Sis's life. For that, you have my thanks. Well, things were a little tense on Lazo's yacht. It happens. The action of the game is also similar to Mass Effect. We have many types of weapons and a wide of variety of gadgets that can upgrade your weapon, like laser sight or silencer. Now, you might think you can snag weapons from dead enemies, but you can't. If you want a gun, you have to pay the price, and it ain't cheap. You'll have to loot cash during the missions, cause your boss definitely won't be handing out any donations. Good. The ladder should grant you roof access. Like other stealth games, it's best to kill silently in the dark, but here it might be difficult in the beginning because of Thornton's low spy level. Also, sometimes the AI can spot you early and alert the whole base, so be careful. Fortunately, Thornton is good at close contact fighting. His silent attack is almost always successful, and when a weapon won't work, his fists will. Contact. Despite enjoyable gunfights and stealth actions, the game has some maddening bugs and bad design flaws. The AI is a little bipolar, either super intelligent or incredibly dumb. The enemy might corner you, take cover immediately, or they will just stand aloof waiting to get killed. The code-breaking part of the game is also frustrating. Every time you miss a try, the alarm goes off and to shut it down, you have to crack another code. The game also looks very outdated. Being they spent so much time on the game's design, you'd think the game would have better graphics. Still, there are some saving graces in this game. The role-playing and storyline are both excellent. We can level up or spy the way we want, as in any other good role-playing game. The story is top-notch, with exciting missions, double-crossings, backstabbings, and many other surprises. So, if you are itching for a good spy thriller, with tons of customizations and a cool story, and if you can ignore its design faults, then this game will be worth your time. So, we give it a 7.5. Over and out.